Nearly half of patients with out-of-hospital cardiac arrest who have ventricular fibrillation or pulseless ventricular tachycardia remain in cardiac arrest despite multiple defibrillation attempts. In a new study, researchers evaluated whether use of double sequential external defibrillation, which delivers rapid sequential shocks from two defibrillators, or vector change defibrillation, in which defibrillation pads are switched to an anterior-posterior position, might improve patient outcomes over standard defibrillation. In this cluster-randomized controlled crossover trial, 405 adults with out-of-hospital cardiac arrest who remained in refractory ventricular fibrillation despite three standard defibrillation attempts were allocated to one of three defibrillation strategies randomly assigned to paramedic services. The strategies were double sequential external defibrillation, or DSED, vector change, or VC defibrillation, and standard defibrillation. The primary outcome survival to hospital discharge, occurred in roughly 30% of the patients receiving DSED and 22% of those receiving VC defibrillation, but in only 13% of those receiving standard defibrillation. A secondary outcome, good neurologic outcome at hospital discharge, appeared to be more likely to occur with DSED, but not with VC defibrillation, as compared with standard defibrillation. The authors conclude that in patients with refractory ventricular fibrillation during out-of-hospital cardiac arrest, survival to hospital discharge occurred more frequently with DSED or VC defibrillation as compared with standard defibrillation. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.